it's Greg and it's time for another tunnel take. Yeah, um, oh yeah, I got my, uh, uh, well, I got my pipe that looks like, uh, Miguel's Falcon that he had on a video this morning. And, uh, I saw the, saw the video, I said, wait, man, I got one of the funky little, looking little pipes. And this one here is a, is a Dr. A lot of, a lot of people call it Dr. Graybo. From, from what I understand is... When you call the company up, they pronounce it Dr. Grabo. Anyway, uh, and this is a Viking, is what it's called. And that's about all I know about it. <laughs> uh, I do know that, that these things are great for, um, for um, keeping the moisture, that, that the condensation that builds in the, in the stem here and runs down usually down into where into the base of the tobacco and makes your tobacco soggy wet at the bottom these things are great for not letting that happen because the bowl the tobacco stops here and down in this bowl right here is where your moisture will sit and what a lot of people do this thing is still good i think but anyway what a lot of guys will do is they will take they will take a, a small a small piece of a, of a, a pipe cleaner, cut it off, coil it up, and sit it down in there so it'll soak up that moisture. But hardly ever gurgle, and um, and will never get the tobacco wet in the bottom. So when I get ready to clean this to tobacco ash out, all I have to do is just flip the pipe upside down, and it all psh, falls right out immediately. You know. Oh yeah, um, the little screw pop, for whatever reason they named it that, uh, uh, pipe and big adapter thing. This this piece right here. I called, I emailed the company uh, last week sometime, and one of their uh, representatives uh, emailed me back, and I was asking him. I said. When, when are they going to be back on the market? I can't find them anywhere and all this stuff, you know. Of course, they got their the packer, the bottle opener, I guess, because it's easy to make, and uh, the pick and, and a spoon for cleaning out your bowl. And um, and he, he emailed me back, and he said, he said, he said, we'll be back in production in about another three months. And uh, so keep an eye out on um, Amazon if you want one of these things. And um, cause that's that's where I that's where I usually get them from. You know, I was just telling them how how much I liked them, and, and I have a YouTube channel, and and I, uh, I use it every every video. And um, anyway, so it was nice to hear back from a company. From a, it, he, I think it was a sales representative or some kind. Anyway, so uh, we'll see what happens there. Zippos are all right, but boy, it's just nothing like a big. <laughs> now this is the one. This is the uh, screw pop I had modified for for a uh, for the Zippo here, and it holds it in there perfect. I mean, it works great. Uh, but there's nothing like grabbing your lighter, hitting the button, and boom, just that fast. You know, you got you got far. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, here in Northeast North Carolina, I think across just about half the country, it's going to be hot next two or three days. Um, we're talking about uh, here in Greenville, going to be 98 tomorrow, which is Monday. Tuesday's going to be 100. Now, you hardly ever see actually forecast for 100. And then um, Wednesday's supposed to be not like 96 or something. Jeez.
Well, I got my kayak on my truck. Might take it out today, son. That's right. That's a job, just getting on off the truck. Jeez. I'm too old for that. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a little video. And, I don't know. I'm scared to death of flipping over on that stupid thing and wetting my phone and everything, you know, losing half my crap. Of course, usually what I do when I take my stuff out on, on a boat like that, or my kayak, that, that boat, uh, I'll run a, a small piece of twine through handles of everything, you know. So if the boat does flip over, it'll float, but uh, uh, the string will be tied to everything. So when I get my boat, pull my boat up to the bank or whatever, you know, and everything will still be attached. I won't have anything sitting on the bottom out there. Oh, I'm smoking some of the Lane Berry Cherry in here. Man, it's good to get back to my roots. Mmm. I guess it's been four or five years ago now. Uh, six years ago? I don't know what it's been. I was walking into, um, in the Lowe's one day, and I smelled this heavenly aroma. I knew it was pipe tobacco. But it's the best pipe tobacco I ever smelled in my life. Went in the Lowe's, and as I was in Lowe's, I said, I got to get out there and find out what, find out who's smoking that and find out what they're smoking. So I rushed it along, got my stuff, and got out, and uh, I smelled it again when I went out there. I said, wow, this, man, that smells good. And about six parking lot rows over, there was this older truck, and a guy was in it. And I walked over to him. He was on the phone, and uh, and, and he and I stood there waiting for him to go phone. He said, hey, can I help you with something or something? And uh, I said, well, I was just wondering what's that you're smoking? He said, he said, you're a pipe smoker? I said, yeah. And uh, and I just started, and I was, I, was, I was just trying to find, I was just trying to find the, uh, the aroma of what I remembered pipe smokers smoking in my granddad's country store when I was little. And, uh, and, and it happened to be, uh, I found it after a while, it was uh, 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 Prince Albert is what it was. Anyway, but uh, he said, he said, yeah, it's a, it's a lean very cherry. He said, go get your pipe and get in the truck with me. And I was like, man, I was amazed. I was like, what? <laughs> you know, I've never been treated like that before. Uh, but it is kind of, it's, it's a very tight-knit community we have here. We don't even know one another, but... If you if you smoke a pipe, it's like man, there's a brother right there. You know, it really is. It really is. And um, uh, I said, no, nah, I haven't got a I haven't got a pipe with me or anything. Since then, I started carrying a pipe in the in the truck with me. And um, he said, well, well, let me give you some of this. He pulled out this bag. It's a pound bag, apparently. I think it's probably what it was. He had this, he had a Ziploc bag sitting there next to me. Packed that thing full. I guess I got quarter of it anyway and uh and um uh, wish i wish i could find out who that was he looked like the truck looked like one of these older big type pickups it's got racks all on it some of these some of these folks that have come from out of town to build some of these metal commercial buildings you know and uh, i haven't seen them since Granite smoking little pipes. There's no question about it. They're just odd looking as crap to me. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this this pipe reminds me of the promises of 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 uh, we're going to uh, be riding around in flying cars before the 21st century. <laughs> you know, <laughs> gosh, flying cars. So yeah, be looking for some of these uh, adapters here if you want one. Just uh, just go to Amazon and say uh, screw pop. I guess you, you would search screw pop um, pipe bic adapter accessory. I think it's accessories how I how I originally found them. I'm glad I found them things.
I do appreciate you guys that have tampers. I mean, y'all got some gorgeous tampers, that's for sure. But I just got tired of losing tampers, you know, or having to pick something up, put set something down, all this stuff, you know. All this, just the paraphernalia you got to have to just smoke a pipe, you know. It's just nice to be able to have the one thing. I got my spoon, my pick, my, my tamper, and it's right here in my hand. My lighter ready to roll. <laughs> Open a bottle of beer. <laughs> I don't know why people put bottle openers on everything. I guess just because there's room to do it. <laughs> God. <laughs> maybe if, uh, I've never tried it, I guess maybe you could... Maybe you could open a tin of tobacco with, with a bottle opener. I don't know. <laughs> I've never tried it. Laying very cheery. What an aroma. Jeez. Mm. Some good stuff, y'all. Y'all stay cool out there, all right? I'll see you next time. Bye.